this is Brock here with Rock Hill Farms and this is a video I've been really excited to make. When I was a kid my grandpa operated a sawmill as a side business and he was always self-employed and doing firewood and that sort of thing and as I get older I find myself gravitating towards all the same things and I've been wanting to get a sawmill but they're really expensive and I was almost ready to pull the trigger anyway and then I found out it's almost a year wait if I order a sawmill today the earliest I could possibly get it is six months, but a lot of companies are longer than that or don't guarantee a delivery date. So what I've done is order an Alaskan sawmill. And it came in yesterday and it's been raining every day this week. And I've got all these outdoor projects lined up I want to get done and I can't get to them. And it's about to start raining again. So. I know that the next clear day I have, I'm going to have to get to work on some of this other stuff. So what I just realized is, I can saw lumber inside the wood shop. So what I'm going to do is go in there, unbox the sawmill, get everything set up, saw my first log. Then, hopefully within the next week, I'm going to come right over here and next to the firewood processing area, I'm going to set up a designated milling area. But I just can't wait any longer to get that sawmill out, get it set up, and put it to work. So I'm planning to use a ladder for the first cut. I'll show you how I set that up. And hopefully, here by the end of this video, I've cut some slabs of wood. I'm sure I'll make some mistakes. Feel free to tell me about it in the comments. And a lot of time and energy goes into making these videos, so it really helps me a lot if you can like, subscribe, comment, whatever kind of interaction you want to give is a real benefit. So anyway, let's get moving. I'm really not a big fan of unboxing or assembly videos unless there's something confusing or especially difficult about it. You can just read the instructions. So if there's anything that I think is noteworthy about putting this together, I'll let you know. So on a product like this, I don't necessarily want the cheapest. On Amazon, you can get these for $100 or maybe even a little bit less. But I did a bunch of research, and Granberg seems like the premier name in Alaskan sawmills, so that's what I bought. I think this was like $240, $250, somewhere in that range. And everything about it is quality. Seems like a great, well-designed, well-built unit. So, we'll get a log set in here, and then we'll get to cutting. So I've made some efforts to keep the ladder and the log from moving. As far as the log moving itself, I put wedges, felling wedges, on both sides. I put two on the ends over here and one in the middle here. That should keep the log from trying to roll. Then, so that the log doesn't slide down the table, because this is a smooth table, I put a piece of wood here and clamp that wood to the table. So now the log shouldn't be able to move. Then I took a piece of this metal strapping or took a roll of it and then broke pieces of it off and put over the ladder rungs and put short screws into this strapping on three of the rungs. That should keep the ladder from sliding on the log. And my only concern was the ladder teetering on the log. So I cut a piece of wood and put under the ladder on this end and it held it on with the same strapping. Though well, I don't know if it needed it, but That'll keep the ladder from rocking on the log. So I think it's all held in place fairly well. I mean, it's got a little wiggle to it, but it's not going to really move. So the ladder is three inches thick. The instructions on assembling the mill have me put it together and set it at four inches. So I've got this three inches, and then the screws are short, so nothing should be four inches. And there's even a little bit of gap between the log and the ladder at this end. Maybe a quarter of an inch. 
because it's being held up by that piece of wood. That's going to give me more of a flat log after the first cut. I'm excited to see this work, but I'm a little bit nervous to make the first cut, mainly because that saw with the bracket on it is so heavy. But anyway, let's get going. Right here you'll see that putting the wedges down didn't really do a good job of holding the log still, probably because this table is such a smooth surface. So here in a little bit I switched to a clamp and board system to hold that still. When I got a couple feet into my first cut, I put the wedges in the way I was supposed to, and then I basically forgot about that, and I think that's what's making the saw bounce so much at this point. Then later on I remembered and started doing that right, and it went a little smoother. I also experimented with changing the angle at which I was holding the saw. All right, well, for my first time ever using an Alaskan sawmill, I'd say that went pretty well. Um, having it on this slick table probably wasn't the best way to do it, but put enough clamps around it to hold it still, it worked. And I think I've got a nice straight surface. I should be able to just make sure this is secure and run the next slab. So, let's see about what we're going to get out of this. If we go to the skinny sections, you're about six inches, but it's got a little bit of a curve to it. So I may get a six foot two by four, five and a half foot two by four, maybe a two by six on the last cut. I think I'll pull these wedges. They weren't doing it. The wedges still let it move too much. But put a, another clamp like this on this end and get another run out of it.
All right, well, I feel like considering I'd never seen anyone do this or never tried it before, I feel like that came out pretty good. I've still got a lot to learn, what to do at the end of the log, how to switch it up. So if I wanted a four by four post out of this, you know, getting it square and rolling it and there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more to it, but for a first attempt, well, inside, I feel like it turned out pretty well. Anyway, if there's anything you saw me do wrong or any advice you'd like to give me, feel free to put it in the comments because I learn a lot from the viewers of the, of the channel. Probably more than I show people, I learn. So, I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.